right, hey, today's the day. Today is the day we're doing the Single Seed Challenge 2022 right here on Down Home Backyard Gardening. I've been excited for this and I'm ready to rock and roll. How about you guys? Let's do it. Okay, so let, let's start off with this. What is the Single Seed Challenge? So about two years ago, a YouTuber named Scott Head, his channel is Black Gumbo Southern Gardening, started this challenge. And when I first saw it, I was like, man, you know what? I think I can do this. And this challenge is one of the main reasons I decided to start this channel because I wanted to participate in this challenge because I believe in it and I think it's an awesome thing to focus on. So what is the single seed challenge? Well, it's like the name says, a single seed. There's potential in one seed. Now as growers, whenever you're doing a big garden, you sow a lot of seeds and you just hope that they grow. Well, the single seed challenge is you pick one seed from any plant. It could be a perennial, an annual, it doesn't matter. Whatever you wanna do. For me, I choose to do annual plants. That way you can get the full life cycle of that plant. But you take one seed from one plant and you document the entire life cycle of that seed from seed to the end. So this year I'm going to do another tomato plant. It's going to be, it's going to be these plants. It's going to be this right here. Now I've never heard of these and I just think the concept of this plant is really cool. It's a different idea. So I thought, why not do it? So again, we are going to document the entire life cycle starting today, January 15th, when we plant this, when I plant the seed and we're going to just follow it and document it through the whole season of its life. Now, <clears throat> this is something to keep in mind. If your seed doesn't grow, that's okay. That's part of nature. Maybe you just got a seed that was never going to germinate anyway, and that's fine. Do another seed, start another challenge. If that one, if the first one doesn't um, take off, um, that's important to understand. Now, why do the single seed challenge? This is an amazing opportunity to focus on one seed. Now, you can get your kids involved in growing, your grandkids, um, students, anyone can do this challenge. That's the beauty of it. Now, last year, I started in April, my single seed challenge. And I set the cup outside, and I just let nature do its thing. This year, though, I wanna try to give this plant a long growing season. So I'm starting today here, January 15th, inside. I'm gonna put them on a heat mat, which you've seen at the beginning of the video. Now I'm also going to do a single seed challenge for a great group of second graders at a local elementary school, Snyder Elementary, which is right up the road from where I live. They wanna do a single seed challenge also. And they have decorated their cup and they are ready to go. So I'm gonna start my single seed challenge for here for Down Home Backyard Gardening, and I'm gonna start their single seed challenge for them here also today. And when the plant gets a little bit mature and it starts growing, the plant will visit the students there in the classroom. I promise, all right? So, and what's special about that is last year, the same teacher got her third grade class involved with the single seed challenge, and I did one, I did a challenge for them last year also, which um, if you watched any of the videos from last year, obviously you know about Del Sol and Sunshine, so won't go Morning. <laughs> so what do you need for the single seed challenge? You need your seed, you need soil, you need a pot or a container, and you need a heating source. Now, if you're doing your single seed challenge later in the year, when you can actually put your container and your seed outside and let nature really do its thing, then you already got the heat source and the light. Because I'm doing it this early, I'm gonna do it right here on the heat mat and under the grow lights. Now, I planned on doing this video outside in my backyard this morning. Yesterday was a beautiful day here in the Houston area. This morning, we got 15 to 30 mile an hour winds outside. The temperature is about 46 and there's no way I could film outside. So unfortunately, I'm gonna to have to do this inside in my garage 
but that's okay. You know, you roll with it. it, it it's planting, it's nature, it's, <laughs> it's gardening. So it's all good. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is get your soil ready. Now it's important to have a seed starting mix. Seed starting mix. Like I've said in some of the previous videos preparing for the single seed challenge, you don't want a potting mix. You want a seed starting mix. Very important. This is going off of my experience from last year. Potting mixes aren't the best to start seeds from what I've experienced. Now, if you have a different experience, okay. But for me, no. I want a seed starting mix. So that's what we're going to do. And you want to pre-moisten your seed starting mix. You don't want it super wet to where it's dripping if you squeeze the soil. You want it wet. That way when you put the seed in and you put the soil over top of the seed, the soil makes good solid contact with that seed and starts the germination process. So let's do it. Okay, so we got our seed starting mix ready. It's wet, it's ready to go. Now, don't forget one thing you have to do for your cups or any kind of container is make sure you've got drain holes. So let me put those in real quick. So when you're filling up your cup, you want to go about halfway in your container. You don't want to go all the way to the top. And I'll explain that later on as I'm doing updates because I am doing a tomato plant. And tomato stalks get these little fine hairs um, that come off of it. Well, those hairs can turn into roots. So I'm only going to fill this up about halfway. See, about right there. Okay, now that we got the, the containers full of soil, let's go and pick our seed. This is the important part. Okay, so as you can see, these seeds are super, super tiny. So what you wanna do when you're picking your seed is pick the seed that you feel in your gut looks the best. Now these all kind of look the same to me and they are so small, I am going to have to use tweezers on them. But you know what? I'm gonna just do these two seeds right here. Let's just do these two right there. So one will become the single seed challenge for the second grade classroom. And one will become my single seed challenge here in down home backyard gardening. And we'll put the rest of these away. Okay, now that you picked your seed, what you want to do is get the hole where you're going to put it in the, in the soil ready. Now with these seeds, if you use this company, Baker Creek, it explains everything you need to, make these, to plant these seeds. And it says eighth of an inch deep. Eighth of an inch is like <laughs> barely anything. I'm just going to create a little tiny hole right there in the middle. And I really wish I was doing this outside so there'd be more light and you could really see the seed going in there. But the wind out there is insane and I just can't do it. So I'm going to pick the seed here. Okay, that little tiny seed right there is going to be my single seed challenge seed. All right, I was successful in getting that seed in there and packing it in. So now my single seed challenge is ready to rock and roll. Now let's do the second grade classes. All right, and if you can look right there in that hole, you can see that little brown seed. That will be the single seed challenge for the second grade classroom for 2022. Okay, because I'm doing the seed inside and not outside this year, I need a heat mat, something to keep it warm, and I need grow lights. So I've got all this ready to roll. Now we just gotta get it going. Because these containers are so high I'm going to create a greenhouse effect for them like I did last year when I started my seeds indoors that way the heat that comes off this mat can be more directly used with 
inside these cups inside the greenhouse. So this is really easy. Just get a garbage bag. I like the clear one so you can see. I'm gonna sit your, and now you can do this for seed trays too because this is what I did last year. And what you wanna do is just tuck it in. And I use clips. I use clips here to lock it in. And there we go. We're gonna sit these right here. And again, what this does is create a greenhouse effect inside here. The heat that's come, I can already feel the heat on this mat and I just plugged it in. Um, the heat will warm inside this bag and create literally a greenhouse effect inside here. I'm just worried that the seed is too high away from the mat for using these cups indoors. So that's why I wanted to do the greenhouse effect on them and this will work, I've died before. So that's why I'm wrapping it in a bag and uh, now it's just waiting, but we're done. Okay, everyone, that's it. That's all you need to do to do a single seed challenge. Pick your seed, get your soil, remember seed starting mix, get a good container and make sure that you have a heat and a light source. If you, now for the second grade class that's watching, I gave you all homework. You were supposed to find a, a window. If you don't have a heat mat or heat light, or then you needed to find a window that gets plenty of sunlight. So I hope you all did that and you have a place in your house for your own single seed challenge from the seeds that I gave you all right before the Christmas break. Now the challenge for the rest of this growing year is to document, um, is to document the different stages of growth that your plant does. So every time that your plant hits a milestone, say it first starts to sprout, do a real quick update, let everybody know, hey, it's working. Document when you move it to your to its next pot or it, when you move it to the garden. Um, these are a indeterminate variety of tomato plants. So I'm going to have to have a trellis system built or in place for these plants. Just start growing something. Get your grandkids involved. Get your kids involved. Get the neighborhood kids involved. Get If you're a teacher, Get your classroom involved. Create your own single seed challenge um, for your classroom. I mentioned last year, you know, it could be kind of like your class pet. Remember back when we were all kiddos? We had, when we were all kiddos, we had class pets. Uh, at least I did in a lot of my classes. Um, turn it into, turn the single seed challenge into your class project for the second half of the school year. You know, whatever, use your imagination and have fun with this. It's a great tool. I give all the credit in the world to Scott Head for coming up with this. It's kind of catching on throughout YouTube. There's a lot of people doing it. And this is something I believe in passionately that I believe in, that I passionately believe in because get people involved in growing young and they'll always have that thirst to grow. So, all right, everyone. So that's it. That's the beginning of the single seed challenge here on Down Home Backyard Gardening for 2022. I am excited about this. I did, I had great success, had really good success last year, and I'm really looking forward to, to continuing that success this year. And to the kiddos in, that sec, in the second grade classroom for adopting me into your class as an honorary member, I can't thank you all enough. I'm really excited to do this for you guys, and I can't wait to see what both of our plants do. So hey everyone, if y'all enjoyed this video, as always, please like it, share the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram, Down Home Backyard Gardening. And as always, shine bright and harvest hard.